we would probably do some sort of a show with like comedy between me and Danny, maybe little skits, maybe I would sing, maybe I would give you some sort of cheesy motivational speech like I always do. <laughs> guys welcome to educating shanny i'm shanny and i'm recovering from an eating disorder oh, i can't breathe hi shanny hi <laughs> i'm wearing sunglasses inside because i have a migraine and i'm about to go outside i have cookies for my second husband paul no he's not really my second husband somebody asked that in the comments is he really your second husband? That's kind of weird. Do you have two husbands? No. We really, I promise, we don't practice polygamy in our faith. Or, what's the word for a woman? Is it the same thing? If a woman has multiple wives, is that also called polygamy? Or not wives, husbands? I don't know. Forget it. So, Paul and Paul's cousin shades are coming over to help me oh they're here see that they're coming to take all the excess trash should i tell you guys about this already i can't even talk today i don't know what's wrong with me hi hey, mama hey <laughs> hello are you recording this I record everything now. Get oh, okay. used to it. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Good. This is Paul. Hi, everybody. You know him, but you probably don't remember him. Yeah. When's the last time you I'm a little him? late for May the 4th. Shades, come be in the video. Oh, no, thanks. All right. Shades <laughs> is more shy. Yeah. But you're not. <laughs> I'm fluffy, too. Mm-hmm. All right, you ready for the mess? Oh, I need to open this okay. door. Yeah. Paul just informed me of the word that I was looking for. It's your polyamory, what? I think. Polyamorous Nestle. <laughs> He's my polyamorous ness. Okay, let's see. Uh, polyamory. Polyamory. Polyamory is a typical is typically a practice of or desire for intimate relations where individuals may have more than one partner with knowledge and consent of all partners. Oh, only, I only. Anybody though, not just women and husbands. Well, it doesn't doesn't uh, specify there. What's the difference then be between polygamy? Okay, well I thought that was the reverse polygamy. Maybe polyamory Maybe is. is when you don't even have to be married; you just have multiple. But no, look what I got. That would be <gasps> look. Look Yay. at how I labeled it. <laughs> <laughs> well, <gasps> they're so Tuesdays, good. Tuesdays, I guess. I made them from scratch. I worked really hard all day. I went to Costco to the freezer section. Oh, it was it was hard work. It was. Mm -hmm. And I got the box. It's hard work to, to, and, to go all the way over there. Yeah, and I preheated the oven, and so I worked really hard for you. So <laughs> thank you for taking a load of trash to the dump. I wasn't even gonna totally try Chewbacca. Fair trade. <laughs> <laughs> it's Rainbow Chewbacca. Yep. I love it. Shade, do you want to say hi? <laughs> what is, I My hate cousin. this, I hate this kind of weather. I hate when it's sunny and stormy. Yeah. So like the clouds better come. Smaller. Cover your face if you don't want to be seen. Look how creepy. <laughs> oh, I hate it. It's ominous. I hate it when it's really sunny and it rains too. I hate that. Don't you? I don't know if I hate it. I do. I don't. Probably don't like it well, so you're much. Weird, so. I, I like overcast. All right, so Paul and Shades went home. Thank you again for helping me, you guys. I'm sorry, in a weird, I'm in a bad mood today. I don't. Uh, anyway, um, I just passed. I just went to pay rent. I got in to go lay down because I had a migraine. I still have a migraine, and I remembered, crap, I gotta go pay rent. So I just went to pay rent. And I'm on my way home now, but I just saw a guy standing on the corner with a sign like a homeless guy and I would have given him money but um it was like he chose like the most crowded corner street corner like you can't just stop right there I don't know why he is right there but but his sign said he's like this old guy and he's like this his sign said 
I'm too ugly for prostitution. Please help. <laughs> it made me laugh and it makes me want to go back, but I'm not going to because, yeah. Anyway, my battery is about to die. Just wanted to tell you that. Okay, bye. All right, I'm back home and I'm going to answer and look up at I'm gonna answer a few of your questions right now. I asked you guys to leave me some questions a couple of hours ago, and I'm gonna answer some of them tonight, and then the rest I'll just do for the rest of the week here and there. Hi, I'm Lindsay Kerr from Utah. Hi, Lindsay Kerr from Utah. I'm Shani Haskell from Utah. But you knew that, so. What is your best choice for dinner? Mmm, it depends, but I think one of my favorites meals is um japanese like like teppanyaki like where they cook the stuff in front of you on the grill like teriyaki chicken and steak and fried rice and tempura vegetables and all kinds of goodness that's what i like but i hate sushi but i love everything else at the japanese restaurants just not sushi i love all the foods though let's be real <laughs> self-love is loading said um do you think anyone at any size can have an eating disorder yes i do i've talked about this many times um and people have been confused <sighs> how many of you just yawned with me i want to know because i always yawn when i watch youtubers yawn anyway I made a video a long time ago, 12 signs of anorexia or something, and I said that one of the signs was being super, super skinny. And so many people were like, uh, overweight people can be, can be anorexic too. Like, you don't know your facts, check your facts. I was just saying that that's one of the signs, not like every anorexic is super skinny. No, it can come in all shape. I've never, ever, ever been skinny or super skinny for that matter. And I've struggled with anorexia off and on a lot. And believe me, obviously we know this. Um, I've seen eating disorders in every shape, every form, every type. No, Ed does not discriminate against your body shape. He only tries to get you to change it and tells you that you look like poo if you don't look how he wants you to look. I have a migraine. Sarah Elizabeth says, how often do you think about binging and or purging? If you even have those thoughts or urges, that is, love ya, I love you too. Every day, every hour, every minute. Not every second though, so I'm getting better. Uh, Lindsay Bryan says, you're really naturally funny. <laughs> I know, thank you. I was wondering who your comedy heroes were. Much love, Linny. Oh, that's cute, Linny. I love that. Um, oh, someone commented on that too. Rebecca Painter added, from the first video I watched, I thought your comedic timing and now Danny's also was spot on. You should do a stand-up husband and wife routine. I'd come see it. Plus it would be a way, plus it would be a way for you to actually get out do something and make money having fun without it being too hard on your body. I agree. First of all, we've talked about that. Like if I ever were to tour someday, which someday I want to tour really, really bad um, and meet you guys and hug you and do meet and greets and stuff like that. And I've been like thinking like, well, what could we do? We don't just want to show up for meet and greets. Like we got to do some sort of a show. So we would probably do some sort of a show with like comedy between me and Danny, maybe little skits, maybe I would sing, maybe I would give you some sort of cheesy motivational speech like I always do. I don't know, but that's something that we've talked about, so it's really funny that you say that. So yes, that's on our minds. Um, my, my, my comedic heroes are many. The first person that I remember wanting to be like because they were funny was my sister Michelle. And we have the same personality now, but she had it first. <laughs> I just copied her. I mean, I guess I kind of have it naturally. It runs in my family. Like everyone in my family on my dad's side is really, really funny. Like really funny. Everybody on that side could be a comedian. Everybody's so smart and so clever and so funny. Um, but yeah, I always watched Michelle and I was like, I want to be funny like that. And I try to be, but I don't know if I'm quite as great as she is, but yeah, I guess Michelle is probably, and my brother, and my other sisters, I don't know. 
There's so many people I can't even, I can't even. And I'll think of the answer later and then I'll be mad, mad that I didn't say it because I do that all the time. Anyway, okay, that's all I have. I don't have an answer, I don't know. Bethany Hunt, Shani, are you going to do a morning routine and a bed routine? Love you, Shani, I love you too. Yes, that's one of the things I'm planning for my new house too. So I'll look forward to that. Kai Tan says, how old are you, cutie? I'm 32, cutie, how old are you? Bethany Hunt also asks, Hi, Shani, what are your top three favorite Meryl Streep movies? I don't know more than two that I like. What else is she in? I know she's won like a million Oscars and she's in like every movie, but I'm trying to think of the ones that I've seen that I love that she's in. I really love the movie um, The River Wild. It's a really old movie, like probably early 90s, I'm thinking. Um, and then most recent, definitely Into the Woods. She's brilliant no matter what she does, but I can't think of, like I'm not as, I'm not like I don't watch all of her movies, so I don't know. But every time I do see her, whether it be guest starring somewhere or in an actual movie or whatever, I'm like, dang, that, that woman, no wonder she's won every award. She's incredible, I love her. So I gave you two, is that good enough? Okay. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. Cause people miss you. Oh, I miss you guys too. Thanks for taking care of my baby girl. Are you on the toilet? Yep. Don't! People are watching. <laughs> I miss you. Oh, I miss you guys and you too. What? Why'd you say you guys first? Why didn't you say... I didn't even say we miss, I said I miss you, and you said I miss I, you guys too. I you said oh, and we. you, my wife. I thought you said we. Yeah, I'm in Prozac withdrawal. I'm on my period. And. And I'm I, not there. And I barely slept last night, so. <laughs> Sorry. But I miss you. <laughs> I miss you too. Do you miss me? Yes, ma'am. You lying sack of crap. You are, are you kidding me? Do you miss me? You so much. I you miss even, you. I miss you. Me too. Can we just if see I, you? If I wasn't making money, this would not be worth it. I guess. Yeah. Okay, say goodbye to vlog. Bye, guys. Okay, JCR says, what was your favorite part about your Disneyland trip? Is there anything that you wanted to do but didn't get a chance to? I go in September, XOXO, your fellow Utahn. Oh, I love you too, JC. Disneyland was so fun. Um, I definitely loved, my favorite parts were just watching my uh, nieces and nephews and watching them have fun and watching their parents get all excited because it's the first time they took their kids there. I mean most of them anyway anyway it just was such an exciting thing for our family um i think my most favorite part honestly besides the meet and greet i'll get to that in a minute my most favorite part was seeing danny's mom and how happy she was and how touched she was and just seeing her dream come true of having her entire family with her and all of her grandkids and kids at disneyland is her dream come true so just seeing her face walking through the gates when we very first on the first day of Disneyland. I think that was my very favorite part. Um, there was a lot that I didn't get to do. Um, I loved the meet and greet. It was like three hours long and I loved it. I could have gone all night, um, but it was so much fun. You guys know all about that and I loved it. Um, but I did not the entire trip step foot in Disney California Adventure at all. Not even the gate or anything. So that's what I didn't, I wasn't able to do simply because, not because of the meet and greet or anything, because of my help. Like I literally would get up and go with the family for, and after two or three hours I would be done and I would have to go back to the hotel and crash and not move for a while. <laughs> Marissa Kelly says, how do you feel about couples with large age gaps? I have no problem with it unless it's like, you know, a 40 year old dating like a 14 year old, then I don't, then yeah, I don't care. If, as long as it's legal, I don't care. Um, my grandparents were 13 years apart. They got married, my grandma was 19 and my grandpa was 32. I've seen it work. Uh, they had a strong marriage from the beginning till the end and 
from there on and for eternity. So I believe it can work as long as it's legal and it's appropriate and everyone's in love in this situation. The two people are in love. So, Okay, so that's all I'm going to answer today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember forever and always that you are beautiful, you are worth it, and I am too. Thank you for watching. Bye!